In this video today, I'll be sharing with you five studying tips that will help you to have A in your next chemistry examination. And trust me, examination my practice is not the best solution to get A's in exam because at the long run, at the end of the day, it will make you feel inferior even though the ability to solve that question is there. The ability to have A in that chemistry is actually there. So relax and take a chill over now. Calm down. Relax. I'll be right back. Okay, you are welcome to Pleasant Chemistry. And in this channel, we release video weekly academic videos, most especially based on chemistry practicals and even uh, theories as well. So if you are new in this channel, just strike, strike that subscription button and then you'll be glad you do. All right, now to the five studying tips. Okay, um, you know, let's consider these five words. Proper preparation prevent poor performance. Proper preparation prevent poor performance. Now, look at that first word, proper. That means that you need to prepare for the exam. Students feel exam because they didn't prepare very well for it. Take for instance, if you are preparing for that chemistry examination you want to write, what are the ways by which you can prepare for that exam? The surest tip number one. First thing, first thing you need to do, get past questions. Past questions. Any question you are going to write, any exam you are going to write next, is not new. There is nothing new under heaven. Somebody must have solved that same question before. Get past questions, as many as you can. Treat that past question with friends. Those ones you know, treat it. You can take it to any chemistry teacher or any other person that you think they know more than you. Treat past questions. Tip number one. Now, how can you still prepare? There are some topics that by the time you are treating with the past questions, you, you too you will see that um, this question is just constant. It's constant. I do bring this question every year. Let me give you an example. Periodic table. Periodic table is one of the topics in chemistry that is very, very you know, voluminous. And there are so many concepts, there are so many things that if you study that periodic table very well and then you know it, you'll be able to solve so many questions under it. What are the questions you can solve under periodic table? One. Periodic table, studying periodic table, knowing periodic table very well, you'll be able to calculate molar mass. You'll be, you'll be able to write chemical formulas. You'll be able to determine the group and the period an element belongs to. There are so many things under that periodic table. So when you study it very well, you'll be able to solve so many questions under it. Now, what, are, what, what is the lesson in that point I just raised now? When you read, Listen to this very well. When you read, make sure you teach another person. Ah, ah. Teach another person. Eh? When you read, make sure you teach another person. Now, by the time you teach another person, what you have read will sink. I remember those days when I was in school. I used my friends to read. I would have read, but by the time you know, we come together, I will be throwing questions to them. Can you divine this? What is homologous series? Now, if the person fails to divine it, myself will divine that homologous series. So if I fail to divine homologous series at that time, ah, then I will know, ah, oh boy, the same distance has not uh, entered though. Then I will have to go back to read again. So remember the first tips I shared, that you get the past questions, treat those past questions. And then the second thing that is need to read, when you read, teach order. 
there are topics that are just constant. Organic chemistry is one of the attributes of chemistry questions. You will definitely come across it. And once, once you know you don't know that area very well, you have really don't understand. Look out for people that knows it. And one of the best channels you can actually you know, resort to is pleasant chemistry. You will see my contact on the screen. You can contact me. I'm here for you. On any organic chemistry questions, we'll be able to solve it together. Now, to the next tip. To the next tip. You know one thing? <laughs> this next tip is very, very important. Most of the assignments you are given in school, whether you're in tertiary institution or you're in secondary school, most of those assignments are also part of the exam. Get all your notes. Solve all the assignments. Solve the assignment. The assignment will be given by your lecturers, by your teachers. Solve those assignments. By the time you solve that assignment, and you are able to solve it very well. Don't just copy the assignment somebody has solved. Somebody has solved that assignment and then you can't copy. If you copy, you can't copy the brain. You can only copy the notes. But you can't copy the brain behind that note. And lastly, if I go on this, you need to develop a keen interest in knowing more. In knowing more. Like this, uh, you know, people find the chemistry a little bit hard, a little bit difficult because uh, it's a little bit abstract. The way teachers undo it, some are abstract. Okay, but chemistry is actually real, very real, very real, because everything in nature is all about chemistry. But it just takes um, you know, interest. When you develop interest in knowing more, there are so many abstract concepts in chemistry that you can able, you'll be able to relate it to real life. Remember, I shared with us five words, proper preparation. So when you prepare very well for any exam, I'm telling you, you definitely have wonderful. You don't need to go through examination my practice. You don't need to pay any website to get uh, past questions. I mean, to get a uh, uh, what do you call it? Expo. You don't need to do that. If you do, your conscience will not leave you. You will not be able to stand for the truth. You will not be able to say the truth. Even though when the capacity to have A1 in chemistry is there, you will not still be able to say the truth. Wherever you are, because the guilty, the guilty conscience will be killing you inside that the result you are holding is not yours. So, my dear friend, my dear student, take a bold step. Gather past questions. Treat those past questions with friends. Look out for areas that are waek, neko, jam. Do ask questions. One of it is predictable that I mentioned earlier. Another one is organic chemistry. Another one is chemical equilibrium. All those topics I just mentioned, they are just heartbeats of chemistry. Stoichiometry, those are heartbeats of chemistry. So if you don't know those areas, look out for people. Discuss with friends that know it, that knows it, and they will teach you. The next episode, I will see you there. Thanks for watching.